First of all, for those of you viewing online, welcome to the 2017 Big 22 Banquet. Thank you very much to all of our Big 22 players, their families and coaches for making the trip here to Austintown and joining us tonight at the Maronite Center. And thank you for all of those watching live right now on WKBN.com. Tonight, we will introduce you to 22 of the best high school football players in the Valley. We'll also honor five of the top linemen, as well as our coaches of the year. And we will also announce our 2017 Ohio and Pennsylvania Players of the Year. We got a lot of great video to share with you tonight. And as you would, ima as you would imagine, we shot a lot of high school football this year. Over 250 high school football games we attended this year with our cameras. We also shot 15 in their entirety as part of our WKBN Game of the Week broadcast. And with a lot of TV come a lot of great moments featuring a lot of the players that are in attendance tonight. So if you would indulge us while we show you our 2017 top plays. Number 10. Struthers hosting Crestview in a week two meeting between two eventual playoff teams, and this one went down to the wire. Less than three minutes left in the game, the Rebels take a one point lead on this touchdown run, but the Wildcats respond just 20 seconds later. Nick Adams sweeps to the right, and no one will touch him. It's an 80 yard game winner for Nick Adams and the Struthers Wildcats. Number nine. The season opener at Riley Stadium, Salem hosting East Palestine in our game of the week, and the Quakers cling into a six point lead with six seconds left, and the Bulldogs barking in the red zone. Barker Sherry back to throw, Sherry firing, end zone, and intercepted! Chase Ackerman has it, and the ball game is over! The Salem Quakers win a thriller in week one. What an ending. Number eight. Western Reserve hosting Mineral Ridge and a little love for the guys in the trenches. Big number 58, Ryan Muche with not one, but two punishing pancake blocks, allowing Adam Gatrell to run free and clear. 42 yards for the score. Number seven. Boardman and Ursuline squaring off under the lights in a Thursday night special at Stambaugh Stadium. A few clutch catches by the Spartans takes this one to double overtime with Boardman needing one more big play. They'll bring a man in motion, O'Hurl to throw, looking, floating, end zone, caught, touchdown! Jawan Forte seals the Spartan win! Number six. Gerard provided plenty of high-powered highlights this year, but this was our favorite. Indians quarterback Mark Wade with a heave deep downfield and Michael Belsick laying out to make the play. It's a big 22 connection between two of the best this season. Number five. Springfield facing off with Western Reserve in our game of the week and it was a night to remember on the ground for Tiger senior Luke Snyder who ran with reckless abandon. Springfield looking like a well-oiled offensive machine tonight. The give is to Luke Snyder, still fighting for extra yardage. Luke Snyder refusing to go down, and he's in! Touchdown! Number four. A battle of unbeatens, Wilmington and Washington in the Western Final, and Greyhound senior Robert Pontius coming up with an unbelievable interception. Pontius goes head over heels for the pick, and his acrobatics help Wilmington advance to the state championship game. Number three. No one is better with the ball in the air than Sharon Zion Strickland, and the Tiger senior once again showcased that in our game of the week. Hayden Gallagher fakes the handoff. He's flushed from the pocket. He'll fire deep downfield. It is tip and picked off by Zion Strickland. Take a closer look. Strickland tips it with his left hand and then uses his right for the one-handed interception. Number two. South Range hosting Springfield in the season opener. A live presentation of our game of the week and Raiders senior Matthias Combs putting on a show on high school football's biggest stage with one of the most electrifying runs of the season. 
Bazzacco to throw, pumping. Bazzacco pitches to Combs. Combs reverses his tracks across the field. 25-20. Combs to the outside. 15-10. Combs. 5-4-3-2-1. Touchdown. Number one. Our top play of the season came in week nine. The Battle of the Blue Devils, McDonald and Western Reserve fighting for a spot in the playoffs, both needing a win to get in. McDonald scores with just seconds left and can tie it up with an extra point. But the Blue Devils make the gutsy call to go for two and the win, and the decision pays off. The only hope for Western Reserve is Todd Henning and the ensuing kick. And the Blue Devils sophomore made the most of his moment. Henning takes it 79 yards to the house, helping Western Reserve earn the win and an invitation to Week 11. How about a hand for our top plays? <clears throat> The best players tend to make the best plays, so it should come as no surprise. A lot of those young men are in attendance tonight. Now, with the Big 22 banquets, we get new players, new parents every year, so I'd like to take a brief moment just to explain the process behind the Big 22 and maybe illustrate to some of the parents and uh, some of the new players just how difficult it is to make the Big 22 in this banquet. It starts with a nomination process that we begin in the preseason, and we take nominations from everybody, fans, coaches, media, parents, aunts, uncles, all of it, and we put it on our website. But the final ballot that we send out is determined by the head coaches. And this year, we had over 100 players on that ballot. Those are 100, not random players, these are 100 players that their coach believes they belong at this banquet. The people that are voting in this are those coaches, are those media members. They are the coaches that you played against, not just your own coach. The radio guy that interviewed you after the game or the newspaper writer that's writing up about your uh, team recap. These are people that know and love high school football just like us, and we are once again very proud of the results. The entire area was well represented, big schools, small schools, private schools, public schools. Very proud of the results. Some of you don't know each other because you play in different conferences, you play at different division levels, you play in different states. So we thought the best way to introduce you to one another was to show you what each one is capable of with our highlights. So without further ado, here is our Big 22 Class of 2017. Chase Ackerman, Salem. Deep down, field, and it's caught! 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Chase Ackerman! K. Ron Adams, Warren Hardy. Michael Belsick, Gerard. Field. Anello Bazaku, 
South Ray. Jack Campabianca, Western Reserve. Alex Clark, Brookfield. Isaac Clark, Farrell. Alex Centron, McDonald. Mitch Davidson, Salem. Davidson to throw, floating towards the end zone, it's caught, touchdown! The exclamation point for the Salem Quakers! T.J. DeShields, West Branch. Vinny Fiorenza, Canfield. Lucas Masora, Hubbard.
Michael Ohoro, Board Month. Antonio Page, Cardinal Mooney. Oh, yeah. He's coming all night. He's coming all night. He will keep it himself, bouncing it to the outside. Page, five, four, three, two, one. Touchdown. 16 yard touchdown run for Antonio Page. Peyton Remish, South Ring. Zach Rogers, Lakeview. Rogers makes the handoff. He'll look to go to the air. Firing downfield. And it's caught. Touchdown. Dre Rushton, Liberty. Oh, yeah. Just three men. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Parker Sherry, East Palestine. <laughs> Zion Strickland. Sharon. Jordan Townsend, Farrell. Mark Wade, Gerard. How about a hand for our Big 22 class of 2017? <clears throat> well, we're going to hand out some trophies now. So if we can ask each player to come up, join me on stage, I'll hand you your trophy and I'll say a few nice things about you. And if you would all do me a favor right now, 
All the big members of the Big 22 are five blocks of granite and our coaches, you could do us a favor, take your name badge off. Because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hand you the trophy and if you can walk over, Rolando is gonna be waiting for you over here. He's gonna take some pictures in front of our wall and we've done this in years past. These ruined pictures, they start glowing. So if you can do us a favor, just take off your badge, meet me up here and then uh, you can take your seat as soon as he's done taking your picture, okay? We'll start with our Big 22 winners in an alphabetical order. We begin with Salem High School and Chase Ackerman. <laughs> Chase caught 64 passes this year for 1,037 yards and 16 touchdowns, a 1,000-yard receiver. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. From Warren Harding, K. Ron Adams. Kron rushed for over 1,300 yards, 17 total touchdowns. He also played defense, racked up 38 tackles, nine for loss, and had six sacks. Kron, congratulations. From Girard High School, Michael Belsick. Michael caught 81 passes this year for 1,546 yards. 18 touchdowns. He had 62 tackles on the year as well. One of four wide receivers with well over 1,000 yards this year. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you very much. From Canfield High School, Paul Brenz. Paul did a lot of things for Canfield. Ran for over 800 yards, had over 220 yards receiving. He had 23 total touchdowns including two passing. Congratulations, Paul. Thanks for coming, buddy. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. From South Range High School, Anello Bazzacco. Anello's stats are big. 1,900 passing yards, 1,300 rushing yards, 42 total touchdowns, the first 1,000-yard rusher and 1,000-yard passer in school history. He was also our Student Athlete of the Week on Channel 33. Congratulations. Thank you very much. From Western Reserve, Jack Capabianca. Jack played on both sides of the ball, over 50 tackles, three sacks, 11 touchdowns on offense, averaged over seven yards per carry on offense, and next year he'll be in Columbus with the Buckeyes as part of the Ohio State football team. From Brookfield High School, Alex Clark. Alex, another two-way starter for the Warriors. This year he ran for over 1,600 yards, scored 15 touchdowns on offense, on defense, managed 54 tackles, a sack, and an interception. From Farrell High School, Isaac Clark. Isaac passed for over 2,200 yards. He had 30 touchdown passes, both of which are new Farrell school records. Congratulations, Isaac. Thank you very much. From McDonald High School, Alex Cintron. Alex rushed for over 1,400 yards, scored 23 times, and averaged over nine yards per carry. Congratulations. From Salem High School, Mitch Davidson. <laughs> Mitch threw for over 2,300 yards, threw 32 touchdowns, and also punted the ball, averaging over 38 yards per kick. One of his good friends down the road from West Branch High School, TJ DeShields. TJ has some school records as well. He threw for over 2,200 yards, 31 total touchdowns. He's got three school records, one of which 
includes six passing touchdowns in one game. From Canfield High School, Vinny Fiorenza. Vinny's another one of those dual threat quarterbacks. 1,500 yards rushing, 1,000 yards passing, and 18 total touchdowns for a really good football team this year. Thanks, Vinny. Appreciate it. From Hubbard High School, Lucas Masora. Lucas on defense, 162 tackles, 20 tackles for loss, five sacks, two interceptions, and five total touchdowns. And he's a junior. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. From Boardman High School, Michael Ohoro. Michael passed for over 1,200 yards, ran for over 650, and accounted for 22 total touchdowns for the Spartans this year, and he too is just a junior. From Cardinal Mooney High School, Antonio Page. Antonio finished with over 1,200 yards rushing, 600 yards passing, 13 total touchdowns, and he also had 53 tackles on defense for the Cards this season. Thanks for coming, Anthony. I appreciate it. From South Range High School, Peyton Remish. Peyton ran for over 1,700 yards, scored 19 times, and added up to over 100 tackles. And if you watched his highlight reel, he never ran away from anybody. He ran through most people. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. From Lakeview High School, Zach Rogers. Zach passed for over 2,000 total yards this year. 20 total touchdowns. He had just three interceptions all year and also punted the ball, averaging over 41 yards per kick. From Liberty High School, Dre Rushton. Dre ran for over 1,400 yards, passed for over 950, scored 32 total touchdowns, and had two defensive interceptions as well. Dear Mr. Allison, I want to thank you for the amazing opportunity to be part of the WKBN Big 22. It was a great honor. And I appreciate the recognition for the success of my team and myself. I've set a lot of goals for my future, and being part of this elite group of area athletes is definitely on the list for 2017. Thank you again. This card came from one of our winners from last year. Just to show you what kind of kid he was, he sent that after he made the Big 22 banquet, and he certainly lived up to it, and I believe he brought most of East Palestine with him. From East Palestine High School, Parker Sherry. <clears throat> Parker had a big year, 2,200 yards passing, 1,300 yards rushing, and he accounted for 41 total touchdowns this year, and he too is just a junior. Sorry to embarrass you. <laughs> From Sharon High School, Zion Strickland. <clears throat> Zion broke the District 10 record this year with 90 receptions. He finished with over 1,500 yards receiving, 21 touchdowns, and five interceptions on defense. From Farrell High School, Jordan Townsend. Jordan caught 71 passes this year and broke both the Mercer County and District 10 record 
with 1,531 yards receiving and 22 receiving touchdowns this year. Our wide receivers were unbelievable this season. And the final member of our Big 22, another two-time winner from Girard High School, Mark Wade. Mark had over 3,500 yards passing, over 1,100 rushing, 56 total touchdowns. He threw 37 touchdown passes this year and just three interceptions. Think about that. Awesome. How about a hand for our Big 22? Well, if anybody's been to the banquet in the past, you know that uh, more than a few years ago, we were worried that some of the best high school football players on the field were not going to get honored. These were guys that uh, did the dirty work, uh, didn't necessarily touch the football. They don't end up in the highlights, except briefly. And they certainly don't end up in the newspaper headlines or the TV highlights. We call them our five blocks of granite. And this goes out to the area's top five linemen. These five players were also voted in in the same process of the Big 22, and we'd like to bring them up as well. Starting with, from Girard High School, Jack Del Garbino. Jack recorded 129 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, seven sacks, three forced fumbles, and he's also a state-ranked wrestler. From Cardinal Mooney High School, Vinnie Gentile. <laughs> Vinnie was a captain of the Cardinal Mooney football team this year, graded out offensively over 87% on defense, managed 71 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, four sacks, and is heavily recruited by a lot of colleges, including Ivy League schools. Congratulations, Vinnie. Thank you. Thank you. From Sharpsville High School, Jaquay Hubbard. Jaquay's the biggest guy here. Six foot six, 345 pounds, 200 yards rushing as a team. He helped block four and over 25 points per game. If you don't think Division I guys are after him, you're nuts. Check him out. Congratulations. Buddy. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. From Struthers High School, Jimmy Stefanski. During Jimmy's senior year, his Wildcats averaged over 206 rushing yards per game. And Jimmy is also a next level talent. He will continue playing football next year at Carnegie Mellon. And the final member of our five blocks of granite this year from Canfield High School, Jared Tincher. Jared's Canfield team offensively averaged over 330 yards per game. The defense allowed less than eight. His Cardinal squad did not lose a single game until week 13. We'd now like to name our Ohio and Pennsylvania Coaches of the Year. We'll start with Ohio. Our Coach of the Year from Ohio, from South Range High School, Dan Yegley. <laughs> Coach Yegley's first year as an independent, pretty well. Finished undefeated in the regular season. The Raiders were the number one seed in Division V, Region 17, and they didn't stop until the state semifinals this season. Our Pennsylvania Coach of the Year, from Wilmington High School, Terry Varelli. <laughs> Coach Varelli also finished the regular season undefeated. undefeated. They had 14 wins. They were the Class 2A state runner-up, and he just recently retired with 314 career wins, 14 District 10 titles, 
and a state championship in 2008. We have two trophies left, actually four trophies, two for each school. We're going to name our Ohio and Pennsylvania Players of the Year, and this is the part that the kids want to win it, but maybe not when they have to come up here and talk. So we would like to invite our winners and their coach to meet us up here, say a few words, thank their teammates, parents, whoever they'd like uh, about their accomplishments this season. We will start in Pennsylvania. Over the last 11 years, our Pennsylvania Player of the Years have had a lot in common. They don't just have great seasons. They have great careers. These are players that, when they leave high school, have rewritten the record book. And that is certainly the case this season. Our winner this season will leave as, well, one of the most decorated high school football players in Pennsylvania history. He's broke every receiving record in school history, every receiving record in District 10 history, and finished second in the state all time in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. Our 2017 Pennsylvania Player of the Year from Sharon High School, Zion Strickland. Thanking God for this opportunity, my coaches, school district is just grateful to be here. Shout out to, w, to WKBN for giving me this opportunity coming to the games. This is just a great experience and I'm very thankful. Thank you. Well, our Ohio Player of the Year history is just as impressive with the alumni. Like I said, we've handed out 11 of these over the years. Three of the previous winners had careers in the NFL, and there's a few more headed in that direction at the college level right now. Another interesting fact, in the 11 years that we've done our Ohio Player of the Year, only two juniors have ever won this award, and both of those players are currently playing in the Big Ten and the SEC and tonight's winner will certainly add to that history. This year's winner racked up more yards and touchdowns than any player we've covered since we started the Big 22. And along the way, broke the Trumbull County passing record with over 3,500 yards this season. Our 2017 Ohio Player of the Year from Girard High School, Mark Wade. I'd like to thank uh, WKBN and Mr. Allison for everything they've done for us as players, covering all over the state of Ohio and western Pennsylvania for us. And uh, I'd like to thank Gerard and Michael Belsick and Jack Del Garbino for uh, everything they do for me. This trophy shouldn't say Mark Wade. It honestly should say the 2017 Gerard Indians, because nothing I accomplished would have happened without them. And I'd like to thank Coach Pearson with that also. Thank you, and God bless. Well, that's it. That's the end of our banquet. I would uh, like for the players to indulge us, though. We are going to take some pictures, and we're going to take a group picture over here in front. And uh, all those pictures are available and will be available later tonight on our website, WKBN.com, for all the parents that are interested in that. And then all the highlights that we showed tonight as well uh, will be available on our website. In fact, they might already be there. The winners and the coaches of the two winners also, if you would meet us, uh, Chase Evans, my associate, is over there. We're going to do a quick television interview. And to all the moms and dads, uh, please tell Sue Ford on your way out, thank you, because she did a wonderful job with this banquet tonight. And all the centerpieces and everything that has your son's picture or name on it is yours to take home tonight. So from all of us at WKBN-TV, thank you very much for coming tonight. 
And for the 10 juniors that are in attendance tonight, we totally expect to see you back here next year. Thank you again. Drive safely.